Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a huge book unhaul. So it's been a really, really long time since I filmed an unhaul, and essentially, if you don't know what an unhaul is, it's the opposite of a haul, and it's where I show you the books that I'm getting rid of. So basically what I did is I went through all of my bookshelves, and I took out everything that I'm not really interested in anymore, things that I just don't think I'm gonna get to anytime soon, and some books that I have just like duplicates of that I don't need two of, and it ended up being quite a number of books. I have close to 40 books that I'm getting rid of, and since I have so many, I'm not really going to spend much time going into what each book is about. I'm mostly just going to mention kind of why I've decided to get rid of it, and we're going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. Also, because a lot of people always ask during unhaul videos what I'm planning to do with the books that I'm getting rid of, I sell some of them to my used bookstore, I donate the others to the library and to my school. So that's what I'm going to be doing with these books as well. I unfortunately can't afford to ship out the books to all of you guys. I wish I could do that. I always get people asking if they can have this book or that book whenever I do an unhaul, and I wish that I could send them all to you, but I am actually planning to do a giveaway on Twitter soon with a couple of the books that I am getting rid of, so be sure that you're following me there or you check up there to see when I post that giveaway. But without any further ado, I have a lot of books to get through, so let's just get into them. The first book I have here is First and Then by Emma Mills. I got this in a subscription box like two years ago, around the time when I first started my channel, and I just am not interested in reading it anymore. It's just a contemporary. I don't really know too much about what it's actually about, but I just have so many other contemporaries that are higher on my list of books that I want to read. So even though it's really, really beautiful, I think it's time to move on. The next two books I have here are just more contemporaries that I don't have an interest in reading in anymore. And the first one is The Other F Word by Natasha Friend. And then the other one is Beautiful Broken Girls by Kim Savage. I got both of these in subscription boxes as well. Quite a few of these are actually from some old subscription boxes just because I didn't pick the books out, so they sounded interesting when I first like read the synopsis, but then after a while I pile up so many other books that I need to read that these kind of just like fall behind and they're just taking up space. So that's why I'm getting rid of these. The next two books I have here I actually think I mentioned in an old unhaul video, but I just actually never got rid of them because I started to read some more about them and I thought that I would want to read them, but now again I'm just not in the place to want to read them, so it's time to get rid of them. And those books are Across the Universe and A Million Suns by Beth Revis. These are sci-fi books that were very, very popular around the time that I read like Divergent and The Hunger Games, so they're pretty old, but I had heard good things about them then, and since then I haven't really heard anything about them, and I've just kind of lost interest, and I just don't read too much sci-fi in general, so I just don't see myself picking these up anytime soon at all. The next book I have here is Dust Jacketless, but it is Zack and Mia. I actually got this at the book swap during VidCon, and I don't even know if I ever read the synopsis online or not, because I honestly cannot remember what this book is about at all, but I just have no interest in it since I have no idea what it's about. But yeah, this is just another contemporary that I personally don't see myself reading. The next book I'm unhauling is The Cruelty by Scott Bergstorm. This is a super, super cool cover, but genuinely I don't even remember where I got this book and I don't remember what it's about at all. I don't know how it ended up on my bookshelf, but it was there. And despite the fact that it has a super cool cover, I just don't really see myself picking this up. I think it's some sort of thriller and I'm not like the biggest fan of thrillers. I have nothing against them, I just don't tend to pick them up very often. And I really don't see myself picking this up anytime soon. So it was just taking up space on my shelf. The next book I have here is The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. This is the novella to the Twilight Saga that I read when I read the Twilight Saga. And I loved it at the time, don't like Twilight anymore don't like this anymore. And while I still have Twilight, like the whole series on my shelf, I didn't see a need to keep this at all anymore because I don't ever go back to this at all. So um, it's time to give it away. The next book I have here I actually got really recently in one of my Owl Crate boxes as like an extra book, and that is New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. Again, I have nothing against this book. I genuinely just don't even remember what the summary is about, but it's just another book that I don't see myself picking up anytime soon if I really want to read this later on. I will probably just like repurchase it or get it from the library or something. But again, it was just taking up space and it's not something that I see myself picking up. The next book I have here is one that was sent to me by the author actually, and it's We Awaken by Calista Lynn. This is a book that is about a girl who is dealing with a traumatic experience that has happened in her family recently. And she's also trying to navigate her sexuality because she's asexual and she's being visited in her dreams by this like really beautiful girl that she's really into. But I started reading this book and I really just 
did not click with it. I liked the beginning and it seemed promising, but then the more and more I got into it, the less and less interested I was. So I decided to DNF the book because I did not think I was gonna give it a good review anyway. Nothing particularly bad or wrong about it. It just didn't make me feel very much. So I just decided to put it down and move on to something that I liked. And because of that, I see no reason to keep it on my shelf. The next book I have here is one that was sent to me for a sponsored video that I did. And I'm actually getting rid of it because I have two copies of it. And that is Wild Man by JC Geiger. I made an entire video called Road Trip Reading Recommendations that was to help promote the release of Wild Man. And I actually ended up getting sent two copies of the same book. So I'm getting rid of one of them because I don't need two of them. <laughs> the next few books I have here are some more books that were sent to me in subscription boxes that I just don't see myself picking up soon. And the first one is A Scandalous Secret. And this other one is Dragon Springs Road. This one I think I got in a bookly box. And this one I think I got in a Muse Monthly box. This one I am still kind of interested in and intrigued by the synopsis. But at the same time, I really just don't see myself picking it up anytime soon. And it's just taking up space on my very limited shelf space. So I am just deciding to get rid of them for now. So if I ever want to go back to them, I can definitely check them out or repurchase them. The next book I have here is The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. This is a book that I bought like too many years ago and I never read it. And it's just been in my house for so long and I do not see myself reading it ever. So I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> the next book I have here is The August Five by Jenna Helland. I honestly don't remember where I got this book. It might've been sent to me by the publisher, but it was unsolicited. So I don't remember what the synopsis is or like what it's about at all. And I just don't see myself picking it up at all. And again, why keep a book if you're not interested in reading it? The next book I have here is The Scorpion Rules by Erin Bow. I got this book in a subscription box and this is one of the ones I'm actually considering like still keeping just because I got it more recently and the summary does still interest me a little bit. But at the same time, I have so many other fantasies that I really, really wanna read that this one is not on like the top of my priority list. So I think it might have to go. The next book I'm unhauling is The Novice by Taryn Mathrew. And this one is is one that was sent to me by the publisher and they also sent me the arc of the second book. But nonetheless, this one is one that I was interested in reading back like when I first got it, like almost two years ago now. But since then I've just lost interest. And again, there's just so much more fantasy that I really wanna read and I've been prioritizing. So if I ever do decide to come back to this series, I will just repurchase this or get it from the library. The next book I have here is Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. This book, I was actually planning on keeping it, but then I read some good reads reviews that said that it like wasn't that great. So I didn't want to keep a book, especially a dystopian book, since I'm not too into dystopian that wasn't getting like fantastic reviews. So I really just don't want that to take up shelf space and I see no reason in keeping it otherwise. The next book I have here is The House by Christina Lauren. This is another one that I may be keeping at least until like October because I think that this is like a horror novel and reading something scary during October sounds like a lot of fun. And this I think is probably the scariest book I own. It's also been blurbed by Alex Bracken and Ransom Riggs. So I, again, might be keeping it, but at the same time, there's so many other books that I've been prioritizing. So at least for now, I've taken it off my shelf. The next book I'm unhauling is a copy of The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. It's because I have two copies of this book, actually. I got one in a subscription box, and then I got one as a gift for like Christmas or my birthday or something. So I don't need two copies of the book, so I am getting rid of one. The next two books I have here, I think are two books that were sent to me by the publisher, unsolicited, so I didn't really know much about them. And they are A Lie for a Lie and To Catch a Killer. Both of them I think are like thrillers and again I don't really read much mystery thriller and they were unsolicited so actually this one might have been from a subscription box. I don't know. Nonetheless I didn't choose them myself so I don't really see myself really picking either of these up anytime soon or really ever. So yeah I think it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> the next few books I have here again all three of them are from subscription boxes and I always feel like feel kind of bad getting rid of books from subscription boxes but at the same time, like you don't really pick the book in the subscription box. So sometimes you don't know if you're gonna like it or not. So that's why I end up getting rid of quite a few of them. But the first one is The Atlas of Us. And then I have Afterward. And then also Please Do Not Disturb. All three of these are just ones that when I read the synopsis, I was actually really interested in them, especially Afterward. But now I just have so many other books that I really wanna get to over these. So I have to make some more space on the shelf. The next book I have here is The Rift 
Uprising by Amy S. Foster. I am getting rid of this because I actually have two copies of the same book. Again, that tends to happen to me quite a lot. <laughs> this book was sent to me by the publisher though for like a giveaway that I did, which was a lot of fun and I'm still interested in reading the book, but I don't need two copies of it, so I'm getting rid of one. The next book I have here is another one from a subscription box and it is Freebird by John Raymond. Again, don't know the synopsis, don't remember it, don't really see myself picking it up anytime soon. I feel like all of these books I'm saying the same thing, but you get why I chose these ones to get rid of. The next book I have here is Starry Night by Isabel Gillies, and this is one I have actually read, but I just didn't like it very much. I read this one quite a while ago, and it's just a contemporary about this girl who lives in New York, and she's in high school, and it's just really, really basic, and it kind of didn't really mean much of anything, and it had some tropes that I really don't like, so it wasn't for me, and despite the fact that it has a beautiful cover that I absolutely love, I don't really see a point in keeping it because I didn't like it. <laughs> the next book I have here is another one that I think I got in a subscription box. It might have been sent to me by the publisher. Don't remember. I've had it for quite a while now, but that is The One Thing by Marcy Lynn Curtis. I think this is about a girl who's like a musician or something in high school, and while I really like books about musicians, I just don't really see myself picking this one up. It's just another like contemporary, and I'm very specific about the contemporaries that I read, and this one doesn't seem to draw my attention in too much, so I think it's time to let it go. The next book I have here is one that I ordered myself a long time ago, and I was interested in reading it back then, but now I just don't really care to, and that book is A Teaspoon of Earth and Sea by Dina Nairi. This book is about a girl who is like from Iran, and that's why I was interested in reading it, but I went on Goodreads and I read some reviews of it, and the reviews weren't fantastic, so I've just decided to get rid of it, so I don't want it just taking up space. And finally, we are on to the last books that I'm getting rid of. And I'm wondering if anyone was able to guess if I was going to include these books because I did mention it in an earlier video and some people picked up on it, but um, it is none other than the entirety of the Throne of Glass series. Now most of you all probably know that I do not like these books. I did like them when I read the first two, Crown of Midnight, honestly, I still enjoy that book, and Air of Fire was okay to me, and I hate Queen of Shadows, and I hate Empire of Storms, so I have now actually ended up kind of hating the entire series and I don't see a point in keeping them because I do not like them. A lot of people have also asked me if I plan to continue reading the series and while I had initially planned to after I read Empire of Storms, I really don't think I'm going to just because like it's gonna be a waste of my time. I know I'm not gonna enjoy the books and there's gonna be no point in me reading them to make reviews about how I don't like them. I just don't see how that's productive. But yeah, we've had a good journey together. It's been a lot of emotions and now I think it's time for them to depart because we're not friends anymore. <laughs> All right guys, so that is it for my book on haul. I know it was huge, it was a lot of books, and that's why I went through everything quickly because there was too much stuff. <laughs> like I said, I'm either selling some of these books back or I'm donating them, and I encourage all of you to go through your own bookshelf, and if you notice that you have quite a few books that you just don't really have any interest in and you don't plan on reading them, definitely take them off your shelf and consider whether or not you want to keep them, and if you can, try and donate them to your local library or a local school or something, because it's very, very helpful both to the school and to your own health because clearing out clutter and things that you don't really need anymore is always really helpful to clear your mind. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!